Assalamualaikum Apa kabar semua? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim To make your life easier Now you can download uh, uh, Excel files from Azminias.com Okay, just type Azminias.com And on your right side You can see the lesson 1 and lesson 3 Of Microsoft Excel yeah? So make sure that you uh, Download both uh, Files Okay Then what you should do next is you can open, yeah. You can open those files. Okay, just go to PC, this PC. Okay, and then go to download, and then you can download the lesson here that you can see. I <laughs> downloaded uh, several uh, uh, files already. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to Microsoft Excel. Okay, so now we are in topic 2 or lesson 2 in your textbook. And also you can download this file, okay, as the previous segment uh, illustrate or display. And also this will be your final, eh? final, final topic, final lesson. Uh, that uh, you are using file that I type it for you, okay? Just for few uh, lesson, okay? I want to uh, because I want you to understand more. You understand the basic, and also you save time uh, typing everything, okay? So now uh, let get started. Okay, first in this page uh, thirty nine, it mentioned that um, database management is important especially when it involves large amount of data so okay in this illustration we have like seven eight nine ten um transaction or data okay it's not much okay you can mentally determine it whether uh, you want to sort it uh, alphabetically or um, uh, chronologically okay but um what if and the data is uh, large, okay, huge, many, okay. So it's very difficult, okay, for us, for you, for the preparer, um, to uh, work with this kind of data. So therefore, we need a database, yeah, the database management. So database is actually a collection of data organized in a manner that allow access, retrieval, and use of that data okay the keyword the first keyword is to allow access okay access to those data for example if you want if you type uh, the student id or the staff id you want to find the particular uh, data about the uh, person okay uh, so a collection of data of course so uh, that is allow access easily okay efficiently effectively and also the retrieval of data if you uh, you want to call any data or you want to review uh, the data you can retrieve it and also you can use the data according to your needs lah for example if you um, you, you want to find azmi okay uh, you want to ask me for his address you can retrieve and also use the address Okay, uh, database are ideal when you have a large amount of related data to store and quickly need to be able to add to, update, query, and create reports for the data. Okay, so uh, 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 technically, uh, you should know that uh, when we talk about data, we talk about um, field name, we talk about records, and we talk about um, field. Okay. Let's look into your example here. All right, so we have over here customer ID, invoice uh, amount, and view date. So the records is like Achong, Achong ID one two, C one two. Uh, the invoice amount is three thousand five hundred, and the due date is ten of October. So this is a record. Okay, a record of Achong. Okay, so that is a record. Field is like invoice number, due dates. This is field. 
and a uh, field name i mean a uh, field name okay uh, so uh, this is field eh? or a single data okay next we learn how to sort the data okay before we uh, begin with sorting this data let's let's go to one to this worksheet okay okay to this worksheet okay remember a is 5 i is 67 okay there is a wrong way and a correct way and a wrong way to sort data for example if you sort in this way you highlight this and then you okay sort smaller to remember five okay how about i copy this thing okay and then put it next to it okay all right so this is the wrong way to sort okay you highlight this uh fields and then okay you highlight from largest to smallest okay see what happened okay this is the wrong way to highlight okay five is for a 67 is for i what happened five become f okay 67 become a should be i right so this is what happened when you um, uh, give task to <laughs> novice uh, user uh, so maybe they will make mistakes yeah for example okay for example we go back to one okay okay and then we, hi uh, we highlight uh, using the what we call that um, the method okay okay so what happen is it will haywire the data okay so now so how to highlight uh, how to sort okay how to sort okay we highlight everything and then sort from smallest to largest for example okay so see uh, five is a correct so seven is one correct and so on okay this is how to sort the data correctly all right so let's say we want to highlight uh, to sort according to okay um, according to alphabetical eh? uh, so sort alright so sort accordingly alright that is sorting next is um, filter okay for example we want to filter okay we want to filter um sales the amount the amount of sales okay uh, you turn to page 50 okay uh, filtering enable you to view a record or group of record that meet the certain criteria for example we want to view only a selected customer or an invoice amount with more than three thousand ringgit so uh, as you can see over here there are uh, invoice amount that um, are less than three thousand ringgit so what we should do is highlight okay and then go to sort okay sort and filter actually okay and then go to filter all right so now when you you press filter you can see there is a drop down um, arrow here all right you press here okay number filters yeah number filter okay what the question said more than three thousand more than greater than greater than how much three thousand so when you press ok ok it will display the invoice that is more than three thousand ringgit all right the, the, uh, this is how filter work so to to unfilter this you just uh, click this okay oh sorry you go to sort filter and then clear okay the data will be back to normal all right then page 60 remove duplication we jump to worksheet 4 so um let's say we want to remove duplication as you can see over here okay 
you can see over here um there uh, there 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 are some data that is uh, identical or uh, in uh, mistakenly we key in twice okay for example abdurrahman fatima okay you can see abdurrahman fatima oh there is abu rahman and sulaiman okay you must remember that um people sometimes they have the same name but different um, surname or the same surname different first name okay so this is okay how about the uh, okay have a look okay you find one okay i find one Halimatun, okay, and also Halimatun Ahmad, okay. See, I can, I find the duplication. All right, so simple, right? Okay, what if the data, okay, is more than ten thousand data? Sorry, ten thousand data, okay. You will, you will have, uh, we you will uh, start with this. I think a month, more than one month. Yeah. So, how to remove it? Okay, with Microsoft Excel, it's, it, it is very simple. Okay, what you should do is, okay, you can go to uh, page uh, fifty. Okay, first of all, this. Uh, to click any cell contain the data okay and then click the data tab okay click the data tab and then uh, remove duplication okay remove the duplication so what you should do is actually you highlight everything okay and then you click remove duplicate okay so okay so which one we uh, we uh, we need to select and which one we should not select okay first of all can we have a same last name yeah we can see uh, we can have a same la same last name can we have a first uh, same first name definitely all right can we have a same salary definitely can we have a, a, a same ad admission date Definitely, for example, uh, if uh, the pendaftaran date is 1st of January, so everybody will be in 1st uh, January. If you if you click this, meaning that the whole batch will be gone, okay? Can you have a different division? Yes, you can have the different div division. So, it left us with ID. So, normally ID will be not the same so if we have the same id meaning that the data most probably duplicate but after this you need to inspect sometimes we um, mistakenly uh, we um, key in the wrong id by mistake so in this exercise uh, there, uh, there is no such case lah. so click ok all right so it found six duplicate values so the computer the excel will remove it so as you you can see here okay before and after okay our data is according to what uh, according to suggested solution here all right that's it i think that's all for today i think that's all for this session okay thank you for watching have a nice day